Hi, today I'm gonna to show you a fun and easy way to make a custom iron-on t-shirt. Well, maybe not that easy. I'll show you how. Hey everyone, my name is Hayden with Cricut, and today I'm gonna to show you in a few easy steps how to make a cool iron-on t-shirt. To start off, we have our Cricut Explore 3 cutting machine here, as well as our Easy Press 2 that will allow us to transfer our design onto our t-shirt. Of course, we have a t-shirt because there's no project without it. <laughs> we also have a sheet of our Smart Iron On. This is such cool material because you don't need a mat. You can just put it right in our Explore 3 machine and it cuts beautifully. Um, we also have a bunch of other products we're gonna be using along the way and I'll explain them as we go. Among them, we have a, a heat transfer mat, and we also have a trimmer tool, as well as some of these accessories. So, to start off, we're gonna go to Cricut Design Space. We're gonna design it here, and when you're ready, it sends the design to the machine to cut. And I'll walk you through each step. It's super simple. To start off, we have a blank canvas here. And I think a nice, simple t-shirt would be something with text. I'm gonna put the city that I live in, I'm gonna do all caps, because that will make a statement. Cool, I like that. I think instead of having it just be straight text, just going across the chest area of the shirt, I'm gonna curve it. So up here in Design Space in the Edit area, we have this curve option that you can select. And there's a slider that you can go left or right, and that changes the curvature of the text. Uh, I'm gonna scrub this over here to the right, because I like how that arch looks. And that feels pretty good to me. I've got my shirt here, just a regular plain t-shirt. And I'm just gonna lay it down here on my mat, just for reference. Fold back the collar. And this is a 12 inch mat. And I think that probably an 11 and a half inch design would look cool right across the chest there. So I can kind of assume the placement here. Yeah, I think 11 and a half inches, it can be good. Okay, I'm gonna set this shirt aside. Let me come back over here to design space. And I'm gonna select the size up here. On the width, I'm just gonna go 11.5, hit enter. Make sure that your proportions are locked also. All right. I think that looks good. I'm gonna just change my color to white because I know I have white material and that will help me preview it better. I'm gonna click make it in the top right here. And I'm gonna select without matte because I know I'm using smart material and I do not need a matte. Great, look at that. I can see exactly where my design is gonna cut on my shirt. Something to note about iron-on is that the nature of the material requires you to reverse it. We have a feature here called Mirror, which essentially reverses your artwork. Um, I'll get into the reason why when we actually start to cut and apply it, but you're gonna wanna mirror here first. You hit continue, and then you're gonna select your machine from the dropdown and connect. Great, looks like we're connected. Here in step one, you, you select your material that you're gonna use. This first selection here is Smart Iron-On, and I'm just gonna click that because that's what I'm using. Step two tells me to load fine point blade in clamp B. And it looks like it's already loaded here in the machine, but if you don't have it, you wanna make sure that you've inserted it and closed it securely. Now Design Space is telling me to load the material and press the load button. So here I've got my piece of Smart Iron-On, and you want to always insert your iron-on shiny side down. It's pretty easy to tell which side is shiny and which side is more matte. Make sure the shiny side is down, place it against the guides. You always wanna make sure it's the full width, otherwise you may need to rotate. Um, under these two guides and up against these rollers is super critical for loading. I'm gonna just hold this in place up against the rollers as I press this flashing load button. Now what's happening is Design Space is sending my design to the machine 
and it's checking the material for adequate length for my design to cut out properly. And now Design Space is telling me to press go. So here on the machine, I have a flashing go button and I'm gonna three, two, one, go. So while this is cutting, I'm gonna turn on my easy press right here just so it can start preheating so that it's ready and hot for when I'm ready to transfer my material to the shirt. All right, now that this is done, I'm gonna grab my trimmer tool and this will allow me to cut a straight line. The machine is flashing, so I'm going to press the unload button and it's gonna spit out my material. It's gonna unload my material. <laughs> I just, I just, I want another planet right now. Planet Cricket. Good luck editing that one. Oh man, I love my job. Okay, prior to cutting it, I'm just gonna um, curve the material against the light just to see where my design actually has cut out. It looks like I have a good frame of reference here to trim this. The thing I love about this trimmer is that it cuts in a straight line because it has one job and it has to cut in a straight line. <laughs> but I've got all this extra iron-on material that I can set aside and use for another project. It just beeped. That is telling me that my easy press is preheated. To prep for the transfer, I'm going to remove all the excess material that I don't need in my design. You know, if I try to remove this material with my finger, it's making me wonder, what are you doing here? I wish Cricut had some sort of tool that would maybe help me remove this. Oh, look what we have here. We have a cool little tool, it's called a weeding tool. And it helps you remove excess material. You can use it for iron-on, you can use it for vinyl, you can use it for paper. Um, but you can see here that I was able to grab the corner and pull the material away from this transparent backer. So as you start to remove this, you will see, first of all, you'll see your, your design start to reveal. So now we have our design fully weeded. And I'm just gonna show you here, because we mirrored it, when you actually show the side on which you're gonna press, it looks correct. And that's because this, what was the backer, is actually gonna be the protective layer between the heat press and the material applying to the design. I'm pretty excited about that, that looks really awesome. I've got my t-shirt here. I want to make sure I've got this ready to go. I also want to make sure, I'm gonna swap this real quick. I have my heat mat. And this heat mat is necessary for protecting any surface that you're working with with the heat press. It absorbs all the heat um, and it's super convenient. Okay, I've got my shirt here laid out on the mat. I'm gonna place my design here just to visualize where I want it to live on the shirt. Um, this part is totally up to you, just based on the shirt size, your body type, the design, uh, how exactly you want this to live. There's really no wrong or right answers. This is all just personal preference, and I think that looks pretty good. So, um, I'm just gonna go here to my heat guide, uh, cricut.com slash heat guide. And I'm gonna select Easy Press 2 because that's the press that I'm working with. The heat transfer material that I'm working with is Smart Iron-On. So you just scroll down here and you can select Smart Iron-On. And the base material looks like it's a 100% cotton t-shirt. So I'm gonna select that here. I'm using the Cricut Easy Press mat. Um, and selecting all these parameters will help me determine the time and temperature that my easy press needs to be set at. So I'm gonna select apply. And it looks like up here it's saying 315 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds, light pressure. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match the settings here on my easy press to what the heat guide is telling me to do. So I'm gonna select the temperature button and you're gonna see it's flashing and I'm gonna go down to 
to 315. It goes in five degree increments, so it's super easy. Uh, 30 seconds, that's fine, that's the default. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And I'm just gonna wait for this to cool down. Okay, looks like the temperature setting has matched what I've got on the heat guide. All I'm gonna do is lift the easy press off, place it on this half of the design, and press the cricket button. And it's gonna count down. Just like that. And you just want light pressure. I pretty much just have my hand resting on it. Two, one. All right. I'm gonna to move to this side. I'm gonna place down and press the cricket button again. And it's going to count down. All right, looks like that side's done. And you know what? I just realized I did not preheat the shirt. Usually you're supposed to take the easy press and just warm up the shirt to prepare it for the iron-on to adhere better. So I am going to follow the rules and do the next step properly. You want to leave this um, liner on. And you're just going to flip it over. And we're just going to press on the back. This just kind of doubles down on the uh, material sticking to the shirt properly. So same thing, I'm just going to put it on the back side. So while it's going, I'm just going to slide this over when it hits 15 seconds. Just for that added. Mm. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're designing a shirt, you want the... Mm. All right, here we go. We're done with pressing. Impressive. Okay. Again, careful. This might be super hot. Just going to peel that right off like butter. All right. I'm actually pretty stoked with how that turned out. It's pretty good, all things considered. I missed that first step. Even though Cricut provides me all the necessary steps I need to successfully complete a project, that still turned out great. And I want to reassure you that your projects will turn out great too. All you gotta do is try. It's just having fun. And uh, you can make t-shirts for any occasion. You can have bridal party t-shirts, family reunion t-shirts. You can make t-shirts for your friends or for yourself. Um, but this just goes to show all the possibilities that you can make with your Cricut products. Um, you can make more than t-shirts too. And we have a lot of other videos you should check out because there are so many things you can make and making them and having that completed product is such a good feeling. It's the best feeling in the world. Thanks for watching.